ventricles of the brain. Here's a lateral and anterior view of the brain, showing the ventricular system. It is a communicating set of cavities located in the brain parenchyma, spanning the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. It provides support to surrounding tissues with cerebrospinal fluid or CSF for short. The ventricular system comprises four ventricles. Two lateral ventricles, the right or first ventricle, and the left or second ventricle. Each lateral ventricle has an anterior or frontal horn, as its name suggests, this part of the ventricle is located in the frontal lobe. Here is the inferior or temporal horn located in the temporal lobe, and a posterior horn also called the occipital horn, which occupies the occipital lobe. In the anterior view, the posterior horn is not seen. In the lateral ventricles, the choroid plexus is located in the anteromedial aspect of the inferior horn and the superomedial portion of the body or atrium of the ventricle. Here is the third ventricle, located in the diencephalon, it is connected to the lateral ventricles by the interventricular foramina, also called the foramina of Monroe. Let's look at the features of the third ventricle that are easily identifiable on this diagram. The five recesses. Anteriorly is the anterior recess also called the vulva of the ventricle. The optic or chiasmatic recess and the infundibular recess. Posteriorly are the pineal and suprapineal recesses. Located in the roof of the third ventricle is the choroid plexus. Other important anatomical features of the roof and floor are covered in another tutorial. This is the fourth ventricle. It communicates with the third ventricle via the cerebral aqueduct. Also called the aqueduct of Sylvius. Let's look at a close-up of the fourth ventricle, here is the cerebral aqueduct. The lateral aperture is also called the foramina of Lushka. The median aperture or foramen of Magendi. On its posterior wall is a portion of the CSF producing choroid plexus. Inferior to the fourth ventricle is the central canal, also called the ependymal canal, it spans the entire length of the spinal cord. Here are the lateral and anterior views of the central canal. Let's look at an overview of the flow of cerebrospinal fluid within the ventricular system. Cerebrospinal fluid produced in the lateral ventricles passes through the left and right interventricular foramina to the third ventricle. CSF flows through the cerebral aqueduct to the fourth ventricle. It passes inferiorly into the central canal and leaves by the lateral and median apertures to enter the subarachnoid space and then to arachnoid granulations, where reabsorption into the venous sinuses occurs. Here CSF is absorbed into the superior sagittal sinus and ultimately into the venous bloodstream. Want to skyrocket your knowledge of anatomy and physiology? Make learning interactive and fun. Incorporate coloring into your study strategy with the Neuroanatomy Coloring Book. Get 50 plus unique detailed anatomical diagrams on neuroanatomy and neurophysiology to color and label. Get high yield summaries and overviews with mnemonics to promote recall. Color code your work for easy referencing and review. Coloring anatomical diagrams solidifies visual associations. Learn more. Improve recall and score higher. Check the description and bio and click the link to visit our store for more details. Want more anatomy and physiology? Subscribe, like, and share. It will help us to make more videos like these. Thanks for watching.